With GTA 6 finally revealed, I figured it would be the perfect time to 100% and platinum the GTA trilogy. And what better way to start it off than Grove Street, home. GTA San Andreas is my favorite Grand Theft Auto, but is also the most tedious to platinum in this trilogy. So without further ado, let's head back to Los Santos. What's up? Carl is sweet. What's up, sweet? What you want? This mama. She's dead, bro. We return home to grieve, but it didn't take long until... Welcome home, Carl. Glad to be back. Watch your head. Ah. After getting harassed, we make it back to our mom. You picked the wrong house, fool! Hey, hey! Big Smoke gives us a warm welcome, and we head out to meet up with the rest of the family. This is where the chaos begins. Drive by, incoming! Why would he walk in front of the car? <laughs> My fault. Too far away. Man, if you don't hurry up. Move it, CJ. You embarrassing us. <sighs> Back to Grove Street, man. Getting started. Our first trophy in this long journey. Complete big smoke. Right after that, I started working on the vehicle side missions. The first one I did was the paramedic mission. After beating all 12 levels, I will increase my max health and I'll unlock the savior trophy. All right, level 12. They just reduced my time. Oh my Lord. See how they be cheating in this game? You are starting to feel hungry. You need to find something to eat. What? I'm hungry. First sub mission complete. Paramedic challenge has been done. Savior. Then I did the firefighter missions, which was pretty easy. Level 12 is complete. Rescue a kitten too. Now it's time to become a full blown taxi driver for 50 total rides. This is definitely one of the most time consuming missions, but it did allow me to pick up three trophies along the way. Oh wow. Bruh, come on, man. Oh, he's paying spray with a wanted level. Eventually I made it through all 50 fares. All right, here we go, fair number 50. This is a long grind, but we did it. Yes, I speak English. 50 in a row, all taxis have nitro. And then I realized I was close to the trophy. Today was a good day. So I just waited inside until that popped. Here we go, today was a good day. Dang, that's a gold trophy. Go 24 hours in game without breaking the law, being wanted, killing or harming anyone. I'm a suburban. And I finally decided to give CJ some food. You're a moron. With extra dip. When I continued the story, I made it to the mission tagging up turf. This is where we get introduced to the first collectible. There are a hundred of these in Los Santos and in the mission, we get the first six. So afterwards, I went ahead and cleared out the rest. Woo! With that finally complete, my gang is stronger and I have free weapons at my safe house. And speaking of that, I went ahead and bought another home. The American Dream. And since there was a pond by my house, I decided to get the trophy for drowning. I forgot there was oysters that I have to collect in this game. One out of 50, and I should be dead. Horror of the Santa Maria. Now we got one of my favorite trophies. We have to score 30 points in this basketball mini game. We ain't gonna miss a single shot. I'm missing a single shot, bro, it's not possible. Okay, nah, that was a bad shot. Come on, bruh, CJ, give me that. See, you selling, bruh. His hot spot is not right here. Here we go again. Oh my God, they got me at the half. Court line, ooh wee. From downtown, bang. That's a bang, bang. Come on, that's in. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, we are at the half court line, literally. Oh my goodness. One last shot. You got me at these weird, oh shoot, the time limit. Bang! Wins the game at the buzzer. Hooping it up. Afterwards, I did the burglary side mission so I could unlock infinite sprint. And then I was feeling lucky, so I went and gambled on some horses. Not enough cash, not enough cash, not enough cash. Eventually. I'm about to say, stop playing. What are the odds? I mean, pretty low because I was getting my ass whooped for a good minute. I took some of that frustration to the gym and learned a new fighting style. Now it's time to focus back on the main story where I make it to the mission Life's a Beach. 
Here's where I finish a perfect dance routine. Copy, right, it is copy, right, perfect. Copy, right, it is copy, right, copy, right. Yes, sir, perfect. Ooh, smooth moves, Chris Smooth. Unfortunately, that's a hit. Now we gotta help OG Lope produce a hit just like that. So we head over to Mad Dog's mansion to steal his rhymes. The only problem is I have to do this completely stealthy to unlock the first missable trophy. Huh? Ouch. You got me. Here we go. A guard is coming. Oh, Lord. That's another one. How? Uh, maybe I stick to this wall. Bruh. I beg your pardon. All right, we just had to hug the wall. That was it. All right, take care of him. Take care of him. All right, that's another one taken out. Silence guns. Okay, I gotta just kill this guy right here. All right, we got a suppressed gun. One last guard. We can't mess this up. There's no way. Here we go. That should be 100% stealth. Assassin. As we continue the story, we end up saving a girl from a burning building. This will be the first girlfriend we need for a future trophy. Treat me nice. See me again. See you soon. I hope. And of course, we have the big betrayal of Big Smoke and Ryder. Same things make us laugh, make us cry. All dressed up for San Fierro, complete the green saber. Things are going pretty well for you, Carl. As soon as I got to San Fierro, I took all 50 screenshots. 50 out of 50, all snapshots taken, 100,000 plus dollars. After that, I learned another fighting style and got a new girlfriend. Hey, I'm Katie, you wanna go out sometime? Another one. And now we have to finish driving school. Oh lord. Mm, here we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bang. What? Yeah, driving school was painful, but we eventually did it. Is that it? School's out. Driving school has been complete. And it wouldn't be the definitive edition without some crazy glitches. What in the world? What? Fight! What is going on? Oh hell no. Nah, this game is crazy, bro. <laughs> Anyways, next up we have another missable trophy. We have to find Mike Torino at the airport without any hints. And since I've played this game before, it was pretty easy. Okay, the tax should work. Who now. needs directions? Hey. As we progress through San Fierro, we work for Woozy. You do know that I'm black, right? I'm blind, Carl, not stupid. We take out Ryder. And we finish some asset missions. Launch the Red Baron. I kind of got used to the Zero missions, but they were still annoying. Eventually, we make it to the end of San Fierro, where we have to blow up a crack factory. Who is on crack? What happens in Los Ventores stays in Los Ventores. Before moving on, I decided to collect all the oysters on the map. 30 out of 50. Boy, what the hell? <laughs> what? Got him. And 50 out of 50, all oysters found. And since we unlocked the last section of the map, I can easily finish the vigilante missions. All right, so we're at area 69. The rhino tank is right there. Ooh! Get up in the tank, bring it back to the airstrip. Just like that, I'm free to start running through these levels. Oh, uh, come on, don't tell me it's gonna do this thing where it's not gonna spawn the next person. So that glitch still exists, but I tried again and I finally reached level 12. Ooh, boy, they sent everybody and their mama, but guess what, it's over. Vigilante mission 12 complete, your max body armor increased to 150%. After a few more main missions, I was finally able to go for a six star wanted level. They all at defense, how y'all doing? Public enemy number one, and the chaos didn't stop there. The last missable trophy has us sneaking into area 69. 
without setting off any alarms. Hot man. Possible intruder sighted. Condition blue. Set searchlights to tracking mode. This is a code red. All person. Damn. Later. Alright, boom. Open the door. And drop in. Alright, cool. That was perfectly stealthy. But it wouldn't be until the end of the mission when the trophy popped. Is that a rocket? Boy, they cheating! Oh, what do you want me to do? Bruh. I can't believe it! Luckily, the checkpoint made it easy to finish the mission. Alright, cool. I still got it. They can't stop all of us. Then I used the jetpack to get the last collectible in the game. And that's 50 out of 50. All horseshoes found. From here, I learned the last fighting style. Hey, you want to learn some new moves? I did some more gambling. Red 18. Double or nothing. <laughs> Put all your money on the maximum bet on red or black and win. I just need $1. All them $1 bills. It has to land on one. There we go. Congratulations. Lucky spinner won at least $1,000 in a single spin of Wheel of Fortune. While I was in Los Ventores, I helped Woozy take over the casino game. This involved me getting another girlfriend that works at a rival casino. I've left the key card and the door code in my bedroom. In the process, the Mafia family started beefing with one another. The Leon family tasked me with taking a flight to Liberty City to take out the Ferrelli family's Don. Bang. Flight CJ-101, you are cleared for landing on runway three. Liberty City, state of mind. Eventually, we betray Leon by robbing his casino and taking over Los Venturas. Now it's time to go home and finish things off. We got a mansion, sweet. We've been putting in work. I need to go check on things in the hood. You don't want to be in the hood? No. That's exactly where I want to be. After getting Sweet out of jail, we check in with Grove Street and things aren't the same. Gang members are on crack and we have to clean things up. One by one, we start taking over territories to get back in the game. Original gangster reached maximum respects. I wasn't even going for that trophy. Once I claimed enough territories, it was time to go after Big Smoke. We pull up to his crack fortress and fight through waves of enemies until we reach the top floor. Hey, CJ, I was wondering when you would show up. I'm here to take care of your fat ass. Then I'm gonna take care of your friends in the police department. Uh, I guess we better do this shit then. We was like family, homie. Big Smoke! Oh. <laughs> With Big Smoke down, Ten Penny pulls up. He has us load up a briefcase with Big Smoke's money, and afterwards he tries to kill us. Time to die. Uh, sweet! What? Money. He takes a fire truck around the city until we finally run him off the road. Officer down, come on! Hey! See you around, officer. And now that we finished up the main story, we can clean up some random trophies and finish the 100% completion grind. The next trophy I unlocked was for having max sex appeal. Yup, there you go, chick magnet. Then I got three more girlfriends and took them all on dates. All right, so this should be the last date we need for the trophy. Not a player. And as I was doing that, I was putting on weight for the next trophy. I have two number nines. Enjoy a doodle -doo. Man, we took Big Smoke's place. Look at this, we a big body now. Oh wow. Immediately after, I lost all the weight from increasing my biking skill. I maxed it out and I completed the BMX challenge. Can I get both of these at the same time? Nope. Come on, that would've been perfect. Mission pass, 120 biker biker. I decided to hit the shooting range next to do the challenges required for 100%. The shotgun challenge here had a crazy difficulty spike. Ah, I'm getting cooked. I went ahead and lowered my sensitivity and I got it on the next try. Bang! Bang! I then realized I still needed to max out some of my weapon skills for a trophy. I'm about to say Swiss Army Strife. Next up, I had to find 30 specific cars and bring them back to this ship. 
This took me three hours, but we finally got it done. And that should be it. A legitimate business, all vehicles collected. And now I have to finish up what's left of the 100% grind. Now, most of these were just time consuming, but others were super painful. I gotta go all the way up there? Yeah, I so far so good though. Probably just jinxed it. Look at this, look at this, look, 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 bro. Was that necessary? Oh, wow. Bruh, are you serious? Oh, wow. Ooh, man. Thank you. Yeah, flip his vehicle. Flip his vehicle. Yeah, dumbass. Run into the pole. That man just teleported. Nope. Oh my god, that was annoying. To make it worse, we have the quarry missions. God dang, bruh. Are you serious? I'm tired of suffering. Eventually, I got through all the annoying and tedious tasks, and all I had left was this race. Nah, this is disrespectful, bruh. I just overlapped the entire course. That should be it. 100% achieved, remastered, stats and cash have been boosted, and Rhino and Hydra delivered to CJ's house on Grove Street. How'd my respect go down? With 100% obtained, I still needed to unlock two more trophies. The next one was for taking over every territory in Los Santos. And since I unlocked the tank, this was very easy. Mink, mink, mink. I think this is the last territory. Grove Street runs Los Santos. Oh my God, they keep spawning right in front of me. I'm spawn trapping right now. Oh, that's it. So the only thing left is starting a new game after getting a hundred percent on a save file. Here we go. Here we go again. Ladies and gentlemen, first platinum of the video. I ain't no buster. GTA San Andreas, 100% trophies. Now it's time for... Fresh out of jail, we play as Tommy Versetti, and we're sent down south to join the highly profitable drug game. I'm dead. With the grace of God, we managed to escape, but our boss isn't happy. That was my money, Tommy! My money! Oh, wow. We reassure him that we'll get his money back plus more, and that's exactly what I did to unlock my first trophy. Tell him to bring me my money. Bloodstained hands and take the cannoli requires you to reach a certain criminal rating. Since the amount of money you've earned increases that, I focused on grinding the Cone Crazy mission. Your reward doubles every time you beat your previous record, so I went ahead and beat my record 19 times to unlock Take the Cannoli. Boom. Keep it going. Slow down a little bit. Uh, straight through. Bang. 12 seconds. Wait for it just in case. Boom. And that should be it. Oh, there we go. Take the cannoli, earn the Godfather criminal rating, the most tedious trophy done early. Then I started up the vehicle submissions again. I went through all 12 levels of the paramedic mission. Paramedic missions complete. 15K, somebody want to call the what now? And of course, Vice City added the Pizza Boy missions, but the trophy pops when you deliver the first 10. Pie guy. Mission pass, pizza mission complete, max health increased to 150. Next up is the taxi driver mission where you have to complete 100 total rides. That's 50 more than San Andreas, but luckily the full amount is only required for 100% completion. So we're gonna have to do it anyway, but the trophy does unlock after doing only 25. Point A to point B. While I was doing the rest of the fairs, I unlocked the trophy Born in the 80s, which made me realize how amazing the Vice City soundtrack is. Video kill the radio stereo star. That's called motherfucking boss. There we go. Born in the 80s. Listen to all music stations at least, one, eh, at least once. Later. Finally complete. All taxis have a boost jump. Just press L3. Yahoo! As I was driving, I accidentally hit a police car. So I went and picked up a bribe. Greasy palms. Use a police bribe to reduce your wanted level. That's the first time I did that. Eventually, we start making connections around the city. And we meet Lance Vance. 
He was overseeing the deal at the beginning of the game, and now he wants to help us get our money back. We also meet Avery, who gives us some interesting jobs to do. The first one is starting a riot. Legal counsel, complete the riot mission. Oh my God, look at this, bruh. The next job has us kill someone on a golf course. To get our first missable trophy, we have to kill him with a golf club. Come on, get up. Get up. Spike. No, 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 no. Get up out. Get up out of there. Smack that man. Ooh, I just got a quadra kill. Irony. Right after that, Avery wanted me to blow up a construction site. We take control of an RC helicopter, but instead of planting the bombs right away, I decided to kill all the people there for a missable trophy. S5, chopper it up. Okay, so we did it. Even though we didn't kill everybody, but I mean, I'll still take the trophy. Kaboom. Nobody's reacting on the outside. <laughs> Just normal day in Vice City. As I continue through the story, I start working for Diaz, Vice City's biggest drug dealer. You work for me now. I work Shut up. After doing some missions for him, the second part of the map opened up. So I started doing the fire truck missions for my next trophy. A moving burning vehicle? See, they ain't do that in San Andreas. They wildin', bruh. Ooh, my fault. High quality H2O. Extinguish 10 fires. But it's over. Fire truck mission level 12 complete. Fully fireproof. Then I collected all the hidden packages, and luckily, this is the only collectible in this game. City Sleuth. Sloth? I don't know. Find 100 hidden packages. And since I'm on this side of the map, I grabbed the tank and ran through the vigilante missions. Yeah, walk straight into me. Drive straight into me, buddy. It's over. Vigilante mission 12 running rampant. The next two trophies were for finishing the last missions for Diaz and Cortez. Screw you! And speaking of Diaz, Lance got word that he was responsible for our deal going wrong. Lance tried to kill him on his own, but we had to save him and then attack his mansion together. Diaz! I've come to take over your business! Man trying to run back into his office. Camping. Oh my god, this recoil is terrible. I see why that's a trophy. Salutations, my little friend. Use the M4 to take out Diaz during the mission rub out. Say goodnight, Mr. Diaz. With Diaz dead, we can take over Vice City. We start buying and putting pressure on businesses to gain power, and this includes doing one of the most annoying missions in GTA history. We gotta get uniforms and we're gonna need a squad car. What are you doing? Oh my God, this man is an idiot. What you mean go get him? Like he can't, what are you doing? This man is doing Super Mario jumps. I killed Lance, bruh. Oh my god, what a terrible f oh, he needs some That milk. took my health down to nine? Get over here! Yo, this game is trash, bruh. This is bad! Eventually, we make it through the mission and move on to something a little more fun. <laughs> Bull in a china shop. <laughs> Caused a million dollars in property damage. That was perfect. Then I went for a six star wanted level. Blow him up. Catch me if you can. That's the six star wanted level. The next trophy I got was for helping out a biker gang. And I also got a trophy for helping out a rock band. Chauffeur. With all this money I got, I finally decided to buy more properties. What's your goddamn name, kid? Versetti. Tommy Versetti. Vice City Mogul owned 10 properties. Then I had to help the Cubans beat the Haitians in a gang war. Tactical nuke! Incoming! Big heat from Little Havana. Before I could finish the story, I had to do the asset missions to unlock the ending. One of these missions unlocked the shooting range, which we need for 100% completion. Luckily, this shooting range was much easier because it only focuses on your accuracy. And since I have my control freaks, this was a breeze. One, two, three, four. This is fake. Bang. 
That's 46. With that complete, I can reload my weapons faster. And we're gonna need that for the next trophy because I have to answer every payphone to finish the assassination contracts. RPG! That was easy. Easy, gun for hire. From here, I start running through the rest of the asset missions, which are honestly some of the best missions in the game. This is a raid! <laughs> Eventually. I make it to a mission where I have to use my bike to jump to different rooftops. And for the last missable trophy, I have to complete the entire thing without falling. Ooh, I don't like these camera angles. Am I making it? I can't see. Okay, not my first time. After finishing the asset missions, we get a call from Lance. Tommy, it's Lance. We got big problems. Come down here right away. It's your friends up north, Tommy. They ain't too happy you kept their man. They're coming down to see the business today. Our old boss is coming to collect his money, but we don't want to give up our spot. So we plan to give him fake money. Tommy! I trusted you, Tommy, and you disappointed me. But at least someone in your chicken shit organization knows how to do business. Isn't that right, Lance? Oh, wow. Lance sold us out, and now it's time to defend our mansion. No one to cover your ass now, eh, Tommy? Oh, he needs some milk. Get him, boys. He never understood a thing. Shut up. Take this. What? That man got up from the RPG? Yeah, I... Tommy, what on earth happened? Had a disagreement with a business associate. And that's the end of the main story. Now it's time to clean up some more random trophies and get closer to 100% completion. First thing on the list was delivering 24 different cars to this garage. Completing the first list unlocked the Deluxo, which I needed for a trophy. I'm about to say, don't need roads. Hit max speed in a Deluxo. Thankfully, getting the rest of these cars was much faster than it was in San Andreas. I didn't have to use no crane. Most of the cars were in a very short range of each other. And there's Grand Theft Auto. The next trophy has us perform a 30 second wheelie. That's not 30, I don't know what it is. I'm about to say one is better than two. Perform a 30 second wheelie. Then I had to hit this beach ball five times in a row. Boom, boom, three, four, I can't see, bruh. This camera angle's bad. Three, four, five. Let's go. Keepy uppy, okie dokie. Now I have to complete all 36 stunt jumps in the game. There were a few tough ones, but it didn't take me too long. Ooh, does that count? All stunts complete, daredevil. My media attention rank wasn't maxed out, so I grabbed another tank and went crazy. Put me on the news, man. Put me on the news. They got three tanks after me. It can't even keep up. Can you blow up a tank? There we go. I'm famous. 1,834 media attention. With the adrenaline high, I decided to knock out all 35 rampages. This was probably the most fun part of the 100% grind. Keep spawning them, please. Excuse me. Back up. Back up, playboy. Easy, all rampages complete. The only things left for 100% were stadium events, races, and checkpoint missions. I picked up the next trophy for winning an RC race. I got Black Ops 1 experience right here, moving around with an RC car. Two laps complete with the RC car, just like the real thing, basically. It was not that much different. And all we have to do now is complete this off-road challenge to have a 100% completion. Done it all, there it is, man. 100% completion, Vice City Platinum. Before we get off of this game, we have an outfit for getting 100% completion. I completed Vice City and all I got was this lousy t-shirt. <laughs> Last but not least, we have... We play as Claude and we start off by robbing a bank with our girlfriend. Sorry, babe. I'm an ambitious girl. Oh! You're just small time. Right away, we are down bad and on our way to prison. 
Luckily, the cartel ambushes the convoy and we manage to escape with a guy named 8-Ball. He introduces us to Luigi, who gives us our first job. One of my girls needs a ride, so grab a car and pick up Misty from the clinic, then bring her back here. Hi, I'm Misty. First day on the job. That was probably the most insane way to make 1,500. With the first mission complete, I start up the vehicle side missions for the last time. Unfortunately, this game is very unforgiving. The timer for these side missions is almost never enough. No way, bruh. What you mean my lack of urgency? No, I gave you everything I had. Is that it? Paramedic missions complete, playing doctor has been unlocked. On top of that, the rewards for doing these missions are terrible. You can't increase your max health or armor at all, and you combine that with how aggressive the AI gets later in the game, this Platinum is definitely the most frustrating. Alright, this should be 100 fares. Where to? Complete 100 taxi fares. Faster, harder, pause. What you mean? Use a freaky ass! Alright, time for the fire truck missions. Apparently, it's not... How it usually is, where you can do it straight away, we have to do 20 fires extinguished per island, which is 60, so let's do it. Splish Splash, extinguish 15 fires during a single fire truck mission. Relief Pitcher. Later. I collected all the hidden packages and finished all the rampages for this island. Street Sweeper, okay, look at me. I think that's for killing a hundred gang members if I'm not mistaken. After that, I started the vigilante missions, which I also have to do for each island. Get out that car, my boy. It's over for you. That's 15 in a row, going rogue. Woo! Police bribe delivered. Eventually, we get back to the main story and make it to the mission, the fuzzball. We have to pick up some of Luigi's girls and let them get freaky with the police. And for our first missable trophy, I had to pick up all eight girls in a bus. Oh, come on, sir, you in the way. Oh, wow. And you would jump dead into the bus, right? Got this figured out. Use a coach to pick up all eight young mains in the mission, the fuzzball. Why are they falling out the bus like that? At this point, I started doing the payphone missions and for the first one, I helped a factory owner kill his bank manager. Get your hands off me off! I beg your pardon? Oh, I heard ass. Take the car to the crusher and get rid of the evidence. Get out of the car and the crane will pick it up. Disposing of the evidence. Crush a car at the junkyard. Let's go. The next two trophies are back-to-back -back missables. We end up meeting Joey through Misty, and he wants us to rig a car with a bomb. For the trophy, we can't crash the car. Take your time. Oh, does that count as damage? I don't think so. I hope not. All right. Arm the bomb and get up on out of there, baby. Eat until you explode. I never noticed the sign said that. <laughs> That's ironic, because guess what? $10,000. Then we had to bait another person into a car bomb. All right. Let's arm the bomb. And now we approach from the opposite side. Oh, shoot. They just start busting immediately. Get in that car, my brother. Yes, sir. Pull off. Planned ahead of time, baby. Take out Chunky Lee Chong with a car rigged bomb. Next up, we have our first race. We have to win in under three minutes for a trophy. Look at how much traffic is here. And you talking about race. They got the checkpoint in the middle of traffic. See, nah, this ain't it. Luckily, we dodge all this traffic to win the race. Then I finish up the rest of the payphone missions and we get back to Joey. He introduces me to Tony and we start working with him to take down the triads. And for the last missable trophy, I have to complete this mission with the Mafia still alive. Hey. Get in, get in, get in, get in, get in. 
Mob boss, there we go. Nice and simple. Keep the two mafia members alive during triads and tribulations. Triads and tribulations. Eventually, we meet the real mob boss. I see nothing but good things for you, my boy. We drive his wife around, and he also has us follow a snitch. The snitch has been giving up info about the mafia to the cartel. And to our surprise, our old girlfriend is a cartel leader. And with loyalty like yours, what has he possibly got to worry about? We kill the snitch and plan to blow up the cartel ship. Hold me! Hold me! Help! I just got one little job for you before we can all celebrate. He wants me to get rid of a car for him. But on my way there, his wife tells me that it's a setup. We meet up with her instead and her friend Asuka, and we decide to leave the island. On the new island, I grabbed all the hidden packages, then I started up the fire truck mission to complete the 20 fires needed for this island. Dirty money, amass a fortune of a million dollars. 20 fires, let's go. Right hand man, earn a criminal rating of 2,500. I don't even know what I did to do that, but okay. <laughs> I was literally putting out fires. I guess being a firefighter is a bad thing, but next up, I did the vigilante missions. The police truck actually made this island easy to do, so that was good. And then of course, we took care of the rampages, and by the end of the first one, I had low HP. So I let an NPC hit me to get under 10 health. Liberty City Minute, survive with less than 10 HP for one minute. Full artillery, oh shoot, that was the only weapon I didn't use yet. From here, I started working with Asuka, and my first job was to assassinate the Don. Mink, you're done. And that's exactly how you get payback. After that, I did the payphone missions on the new island, and I worked for a Jamaican gang that eventually set me up. <laughs> A gift from the king. I don't know what's going on in this game, but <laughs> all right. <laughs> As we keep working and building relationships, we meet Donald Love. He has me start a gang war to help lower real estate prices. I kill a Yakuza member in a cartel vehicle and attempt to escape. Ooh, reckless driving. <laughs> I got that trophy by accident, bro. The next mission has us pick up packages from a plane. Every package collected brings more police attention, so I rush to my safe house to get rid of all of it. Pick up all four of these. Ming, ming, ming. Escape artist, look at that. 20 police bribes. Offshore delivery, two trophies in one mission, look at that. That mission also opened up the last part of the map. I went there and collected the rest of the hidden packages. All right, here's the last package. You got all of them. Here's a little something. I did the last set of payphone missions. I extinguished 60 total fires and I finished all the rampages. Oh my God, this was so annoying. You don't understand how annoying it was. Nah, that ain't it, y'all. Fast forward and Asuka is dead. My old girlfriend wants 500K or Maria is next. We head to the meeting point to give her the money. You have been a PC boy, but you haven't learned. I'm not to be trusted. Oh, wow. Kill the idiot. Oh, wow. After fighting off the cartel, we chase her down. She leaves Maria at a dam and attempts to fly away. RPG! Bang! Bang! Cause you're such a big, strong man, and that's just what I need. Not so fast. Complete the exchange. All right, main mission's complete. Now it's time to clean up the rest for 100%. First thing on the list was completing the last vigilante mission. Furious first responder, Jesus Christ. Paramedic, firefighter, and vigilante. Then I had to smack some people with my bat. Let me see that bat real quick, my boy. Right after that, I completed all 20 stunt jumps. Oh, there it is, wheels up. And of course, we had to find and deliver more vehicles. Once we did that, I tackled the off-road missions, which required the most patience in the world. Nope. Bruh. What? Oh my god, this game is trash. I 
literally knew that was going to happen. I'm tired of suffering. Thankfully, we can relieve some of that stress by blowing stuff up. Ooh, buzzer beater. Come on. And that should be it. Is that all you've got? Come on, talk to me. They gave me that one before. Okay. And last but not least, King of Liberty City. All Grand Theft Auto Trilogy Platinum Trophies have been unlocked. It's about damn time. And that's a wrap on the biggest video I've ever done. If you want me to get the GTA 4 Platinum next, drop a like and let me know in the comments. Other than that, check out when I got the Platinum for Red Dead Redemption.